Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Tunisian Thievery campaign in Europa Universe House 4. Okay, so I, uh, I'll, I'll admit I have my Rights of Man code and I'm very eager to play, however I can't play it just yet. So, we're going to play, uh, this, I think I have three more episodes until this thing can go live. So, there are two more achievements, well, three, two, 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 I think, that I want to try to get before we wrap this up. Dar al-Islam, I want to do, and then, um, I don't think we have time for Mare Nostrum, that's for sure. I do want to keep on trying to do just resting in my account if we can somehow get that on France. And I wouldn't mind getting this. If, Tun if uh, the Teutons ever call us into a war again, we'll offer some Kondatiari to their, their enemy and then join the war after we've done that. We'll just offer to them for free and get that achievement real quick. Um, beyond that, I don't think there's actually much else that we can do. I mean, we can restore Al Andalus just for the sake of doing it. That's going to be uh, kind of necessary anyway. We need Cordoba in order to unify Islam. So. Uh, coincidentally, we have a truce timer coming up here in December, so at the end of this year we can attack Portugal. That will put us to war with France and Lithuania. Lithuania is a non-factor, but France is going to be a bit interesting. So, let's grab our transports. Uh, we have 70 available now. Let's go ahead and split them in half, and we will do Control Group 2 for the secondary fleet. And uh, let's start ferrying these troops over in preparation to attack Portugal slash France. I think we'll have, uh, let's see... Got one fort there, and we got a fort over there. This is a vassal. Why don't you head up to here? Actually, go here, so maybe we can actually sm snag that army real quick. And then you can go adjacent to there. And then uh, these other guys will ferry over to this border, and maybe a person there or two. We'll probably end up with military access to the Papal State, if I had to guess. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna see if we knock out these achievements real quick. So we do have 100 Papal uh, Spy Network Strength, none against France, because he's a jerk and he keeps on stopping me, which is annoying. Uh, let's go ahead and play. We'll go speed 3 for a moment while we get our bearings straight. We do have 100 months until the disaster is actually going to fire. The disaster is going up at 0.5% per month and it's at 50%, so... 100 months is a long, long time. Nothing to worry about. Uh, Northern Tunis wants to become our march. Well, I don't actually intend to integrate these guys, so is there any argument for not making them a, a march? I don't think so. Uh, let's see what it says. A march will have extra manpower, extra manpower recovery speed, extra land force limit... Um, Fort maintenance is kind of a non-factor. The fort defense is quite nice. Let's see, how many uh, troops do you have right now, Mr. Northern Tunis? Uh, crap, I did not mean to cancel that, but uh, apparently I just told them no. No negative opinion for saying no to that, but uh, Northern Tunis has 27 troops right now. And I'm looking for their force limit. Northern Tunis. They have a force limit of 36. So that's going to go up by quite a bit. An extra, what was it, 20, 30% on the base. So I'll have 24.29 times 30%. That's an extra 7 force limit. I mean, that, they could potentially have a lot more troops. I think so. I think we pull back our diplomat from the guy who's working on France at the moment and see if we could just make a bunch of these client states into marches. It's a great idea, you know, considering I wasn't planning on integrating them in the first place. We, we should definitely do that, I think. Alright, you can head over to here, and you can head over to here. Not gonna raid anymore, just don't think it's necessary. Also, uh, I did send my, my ships back to uh, not doing what they were doing before, right? Yeah, we're back to protecting trade. Uh, we have quite a few ships that are damaged. 56, in fact. Trade income got kind of wrecked when I was doing this stuff here. 95% control in Genoa is pretty nice, but uh, I think we're better off steering war here. There's a lot of money being bled off in the wrong direction there. I think we take like half these ships and we protect trade in Ragusa. Let's see how that does us for the next month. That's with like 50 ships not actually protecting trade at the moment and there's also still a lot of ships that need to get upgraded. Might as well upgrade these ones. Okay, um, detach obsolete ships. How many are there? I wonder. Probably quite a few. Okay, so Northern Tunis, yes, you become, you, you may become a march. Let's do it. Wait till we get our diplomat back. We'll do it with all of the client states, why not? Our marches are going to be so strong, it's going to be fantastic. Okay, so that's those two. Uh, Armenia, we are integrating. Southern Tunis, we will make a march. And, uh, that's one, two, three, four. We've got the Alliance of the Teutons. And we've got Tunisian Italy, this little guy here. We should make him a march as well. Hey, the Teutons have just declared war on Brandenburg. Let's see if they call us in. Might be an opportunity here to actually get that, uh, that achievement. 
And because we have full dipl dip uh, diplomacy ideas, even if we were to continue the campaign for another 80, 70 years or whatever it is, we could revoke the march status without a stab hit. You are going to have some issues with that. He's actually getting some progress on you, isn't he? I don't believe I have all of the policy focuses that we need. We have modern siege weapons. This can be revoked in December of 50. Not going to get rid of modern firearm techniques, so in December 50 we, is when we want to hire some more generals. We're rapidly approaching the time frame for war anyway, so... Let's bring you over. We've got multiple armies here in northern area. We can use these guys against the, this French border. It seems a bit excessive to me, though. France isn't going to be to call their allies in, so we're not going to make them a co-belligerent. So I think we take... We pick up, um, say, this and this other one. And then these guys can't march up there, but we'll probably keep them in Albenga in case... Well, France have, like, a lot, a lot of heavies. So I'm thinking that maybe we need to, uh... Have everybody where they need to be before we declare the war. Otherwise, I don't see how we're going to be able to move them around. To unify Islam, we'll need to attack Moulton. But I think that the bigger war is definitely going to be with, uh, with France right now. So that's like 120 some thousand troops on the southern border. France just declared war on Great Britain. Good. So he's going to be a little bit distracted. It's pretty unlikely that he's going to dishonor the call when we attack Portugal, though. Wait a second. They're no longer allied. Oh my god. They're at war with France because France just attacked Great Britain. I didn't even realize that Great Britain had allied Portugal. Hold on. They didn't. How did you end up at war with Portugal? So France declares on Great Britain, who is allied with Canada and Tarascan. There's no, is Portugal a defender of the faith right now? I think there's a way to see that in the ledger, if I remember correctly. Any of these armies' previous rulers? Religions? No? Religions. No, they're not. I don't get it. How did this happen? Why is... Wait a second. Portugal was guaranteeing the independence of Great Britain. Why would they do that against their ally? I mean, we'll take it. That's awesome. Uh, so we just wait then until December. We just, I mean, we have an easy war now. I guess we didn't even need to do this. Might as well raise maintenance on the forts. Um, I mean, if that's the case, I think we'll just pull all these troops then to the east in preparation for a war with Moulton. I mean... None of these guys need to be here. Wow, that that is ridiculous. I can't believe that France just uh, or Portugal just did that. It seems very stupid. I mean, Portugal's not going to be able to stop us in any way. All right, well, let's go speed forward then until it's time to attack this guy. I mean, this is kind of just like a windfall right here. Very interesting. Lost oh, a thousand men to kill those guys. Since we have no truce with Moulton, we might as well get this war started right away. Not to mention, Bengal is negative one reasons for monitoring, and Bengal is, uh, like, the only real person that matters. Nagar is actually kind of sizable, but, uh... You're on Tech 22 military, Nagar's on Tech 22, we've got Tech 27... Yeah, okay, well, let's uh, do some imperialism here. Ooh, negative two reasons for him. War exhaustion for Nagar. So Nagar's fighting against jean -Pur. And, uh, Bengal is also... Okay, Bengal's probably gonna come back in, so let's just declare the war now. I'm not too concerned about these guys. Let's just do it. Go and attack. So the goal here is we need to go up to Samarkand, which is here, and we need to get all the way down into Thatta, 
we want to unify Islam. So we're going to do a little long stringy thing here. Or actually with uh, the coring range from Muscat, we could just take Thata and nothing else. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Alright, let's take a look at forts. We got level 2, level 2, level 2, level 2. 2 and 2. Everything's 2. Where's your capital, Mr. Man? Over here. Level 1 fort. Our path to sieging the level 1 fort is probably easiest. We take this one, we can march to here, to here, to here, to the capital. So yeah, it's just one fort in our in, in the way. Let's grab uh, just any old leader, doesn't really matter. March down to some of these forts. We'll bring you... So that was you, and you, and you. Then... You can come up with that one, I guess. Here goes our mission. Bengal dishonors the call. Try to make Great Britain like us for some dip. Sounds good. We're spying on France again. That's good. Uh, we have 100 stuff against that guy. We need to get admin tech up so that we can uh, get rid of this negative uh, corruption issue here for unbalanced research. Rifle ownership. Moosh. You want me to give land to Armenia? Moosh. Uh, we're trying to integrate with Armenia right now. So what, you have a claim or a core? You have a claim. Uh, you could like me less. Your liberty desire is probably fine. Yeah, I don't think it's an issue. In fact, I mean, you gain 10 prestige for doing this, so you just, like, do this. And then you end up only losing 10 prestige, and they only gain 5, which is fine. It's fine. Never did do much with colonization in this one. Gain piety or lose piety? I think we gain piety. Or conversion. Still hoping at some point, if we can get a darn Inquisitor, we could try to convert Rome. That would be another fun thing to try to get done before the end of the, uh, end of the campaign. Here goes our truce with Portugal. We already won Kabul. Okay, uh, we have no leader over here, but Portugal has, like, no army, so... Uh, in five days, we'll declare war on Portugal. Seventy-eight thousand French troops marching into France now as well. There goes our truce with France. Moldavia has entered a coalition. Ethiopia has joined a coalition. Frankfurt. Wurzburg. Castile. So you're saying there's a number of people. Probably because I'm declaring wars. France is probably going to join the coalition. But uh, he's in the middle of his own war, so he's not going to declare. But one of the other little guys might declare. Maybe he won't join the coalition because he's in a war at the moment. Alright, that's going to give us access to his capital, which gets us the ticking war score. And uh, Moulton has just 64,000 troops. Most of which are actually owned by Nagar. Well, he's got more cav. He's got more cannons, but... It's going to be very easy, I think. Uh, we will do unaided. Trade income went up to 130. The Olima are bothering me again. Gain prestige and have them gain loyalty and influence. Uh, or make it clear that they need to contribute. Gain 1300 gold and lose some loyalty. They lose influence. Uh, well, right now, I think I had given them a ton of land. Like, they have way more land than they're supposed to. Losing piety is not a big deal. Making them disloyal, however, is kind of annoying. Interestingly, we could take the money and just make a generous donation, get all the loyalty right back. We gain 300 some ducats at the cost of some piety, and they lose influence. So we gain money, lose 10 piety, they lose influence. Them losing influence will actually cost us a tiny bit of national tax modifier, though. I don't really want them to gain influence, though, so I think that we'd rather do this one. And, uh, if at all possible, I actually would like to try to revoke some of their land. I do like the theologians. But yeah, we could revoke a little bit of land right now. Not that there's really any purpose to it. Um, it's just something that uh, I feel like it's optimal to do so. So I kind of want to do it, even though I'm planning on ending the campaign soon. We're almost down to the floor there. But we want to try to revoke the ones that are already down to zero. Or, sorry, 25. Pretty minor min maxi type approach here. 25 on the dot there. Sienna. And a 15. A lot of these ones are not going to be able to go any lower, because I, I recently integrated that nation. 
Same thing with these two. Those are part of that same that same deal. Okay, that helps a little bit. Okay, let's uh, go back to playing now. So five war scores soon to be much higher because we're gonna take their capital. There goes another fort. I mean, these forts are all so outdated, it's so easy. And this guy's in another war. You know, he's fighting to the east, so his army's all distracted. Meanwhile, we're sieging down this guy. We've got his two forts, including what should be, I think, his capital. Actually, didn't he move his capital to South America? I think he did. So, aggressive expansions would be pretty nuts when we end this war. Should maybe consider updating more ships. 49 more, they're outdated. You guys should go back to probably protecting trade in Ragusa. Yeah, the more of that money we can force into Genoa, the better. And Apoor has just pieced out Nagar, so he's going to focus on us a bit more. I had a diplomat free for one reason or another. I think it was the guy that was working on France, Contra Espionage. Speaking of France, um, how much does it cost to corrupt officials? Can't even tell. Uh, but someone else is already doing it. Someone else is already corrupting there as well. What? 25 to corrupt officials? Holy crap, is that cheap. I mean, that's like the price of a claim. Why is corrupt officials so inexpensive? That's amazing. Livonians are going to peace out with the Teutons. Disease outbreak over here in the east. I mean, we don't even need to send more troops this way, do we? There goes their capital. Let's go to Lahore. They're already down to medium enthusiasm. Manpower seems just fine. These troops have come over to the east. We completely eliminated the Ottomans, right? They're, they don't even exist anymore, I think. The Ottomans, or is it Ottomans? The Ottomans? Doesn't exist. Ottoman. I think we killed them. L-M-N-O. Ottomans. Not on the list. Good. Good, good, good. I mean, that, that on its own is good, right? It's a pretty good accomplishment. 13th, 11th. Cool, we'll take that. Uh, a couple battles here would be really all we need to get this guy to just com be completely out. We've got uh, mountains here, We've got hills here. Getting to row, and this is our 3 3. Let's wait till he's locked, and then I think we go fight him. Equal size armies. we got uh, equal generals, better military attack. He's got 19 in the front row to our 22. So a little bit of flanking is going to happen. That was a surprisingly long siege, actually. I did make all four of them into marches, yes? I did, good. Okay, war score with Portugal is not going to go up, though, unless we get their capital, so that's going to be a bit of an issue. We'll just attack them into the mountains. They got no leader there, so... The fact that we're in mountains doesn't matter. Hopefully we win this siege very quickly here. Nice, 106 day siege. Oh god, it feels so good to beat up people really easily. Stack wipe of Nagwar and of Molten. Back to sieging forts. 41 war score. Come back from... Country Espionage on France. We can take admin tech. I think we do take that just to get rid of the corruption, even though I do need to do some more cores. We do have uh, another disaster here, Revolution. There's no progress each month. Interesting. And they've already lost all of their enthusiasm. We have our diplomat. Mercenary maintenance just went down because we're trading in cloth. Very well. Uh, that reminds me, a second ago I sent some navy over here to upgrade and I forgot to do it. So let's upgrade these guys. Back to protecting trade in probably Ragusa. We already still have 90-some percent control in Genoa, which is a pretty good number. And let's go see what we can do with Molten. So he's already on low enthusiasm. I needed to get uh, some Markand. So cheapest path to some Markand is going to be... Probably just take those two. So we just go like these two. And then down here we just need Thata. And that's it. 132 points to be able to core it. I don't think we actually even have to have it cored to be able to take it. To, to, to do the, the thing. So let's just take what we need and nothing else. We try to feed more to Armenia. Um, how's your... You have a little bit of overextension. We're still trying to integrate you. Um...
Maybe we could take all those. We could also transfer more, but I think this is good. Let's just take this land. So we get uh, some Arcan, we get Thata. Sounds good. And that war. Be done. Let's come home. Let's come home. I should hopefully be able to core these. I can't because he doesn't have the cores. Crap. This one we can core though. Actually, hold on. Is the issue that I don't have the points? Nope. I can't actually core it. Hopefully. Yep. They just need to be... We don't even have to have them cored. It just needs to be owned by us or Vassal. I could have given it to him. In fact, I think I just will. Let's just transfer it to him real quick. Can't do that, we're at war. I'm gonna point the generals, send them elsewhere. Any unrest here? Hey, we can even add this to a trading company. Yeah, just park an army there, it's fine. We can found an Indian trade company. Cool. Sounds good. Uh, these guys will march south now with a leader. We can. No military access through Songhai. Alright, fine. Head down to here. Let's bring the transports over to two locations. And try to prepare for an invasion of South, Af South America. Alright, cool. I'm gonna take a break here. I'll see you again in the next episode. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.